What is up? My name is Sean and I'm going to do some walking from home camp. I got a couple mountains behind my house that are like 1200 feet. Can't even really say they're behind my house. They're pretty far. How I'm gonna get to them, crossing a few roads, walking down some roads, hiking through the woods. Not entirely sure the distance, but we will find out because I'm using Strava. But doing it pretty low tech. Decided this morning I was gonna go. So packed up what I had, which isn't, I'm pretty well prepared. Set out with no goals. Don't even really know where I'm gonna camp. I know the area pretty well. Now, definitely have a goal, and that's survive this wind. It's not too cold, but with the wind, it's gonna be cold. And these people on this road definitely don't like it when people walk down the side of this road, even though it's like a back road. The college campus over there. I drive on this road all the time and there's people walking their dogs, people jogging. Now I know how they feel. Now I know why nobody smiles or waves. But yeah, gonna do this pretty minimal. And we're gonna see how it goes. Got some snow, as in it's it's kind of snowing. It's probably not gonna last. Not really sure what the weather's gonna be because they can never predict it very well. But I'm pretty prepared for just about anything other than a heavy, heavy snowfall. If we get like an inch or something, maybe two, I'll be all right. I am hammock camping. I'll just have to support my rain fly a little bit. I doubt I'll have to. But this wind's gonna be interesting because I did not bring a stove. I am relying on, I'm not really, I don't even need to have a fire, I guess. But I would like to have one. So we will see how the wind is. Even though there's snow on the ground, I'm not gonna have a fire blowing all over, all crazy and whatnot. I'm just that kind of responsible unless it comes to drinking then you can just that shit just goes out the window you guys must take a lot of time who make these videos you do those walk by clips when you're by yourself this pack isn't light jeez breaking trail I would have brought in snowshoes but there really isn't going to be too much woods walking once I get closer to where I want to camp where I might camp it's going to be more way more traffic I'm on this skinny little mountain bike trail that I know of from mountain biking just cuts between a back road and this highway that's right up here, as you might be able to hear the cars. This is pretty cool. I've never really like hiked this. I've only really ridden my bike on it. It's a lot faster when you're on a bicycle and there's no snow on the ground. But this shit's fun, I like it. I like suffering a little bit. My pack's really heavy compared to what a lot of people are probably gonna comment on this video saying, you should see how heavy just this stupid little shovel that I brought is. <laughs> I hope I give the high tech dudes a laugh. And I hope I give some people some inspiration to get out and do this. Now we're on the damn, damn highway. 
I think I uh, kind of underestimated what it was going to be like walking on the mountain bike trails. And I didn't put in account that you're on a damn bicycle moving way faster than walking. So I'm going to do a little bit more road walking before I jump into the woods to head up the mountain. And yeah, I think that's going to work a little bit better. It is kind of far. It's not like I'm on a trail in the mountains in the summer, able to move a little more direct. These mountain bike trails kind of weave in between the plots of woods, in between little neighborhoods and whatnot, roads and shit. So yeah, we're gonna save some energy, save some time, stick to the roads a little bit. Quick update for y'all. I'm a solid four miles away from home. This shit's so fun, I love it. I'm currently walking by like an old fishing spot when I was a little kid. Still trekking down the road, which is kind of lame. I'd rather be out in the woods. You get funny looks when you're walking down the road by these people that drive by you in their vehicles. Think you're a fucking homeless dude wandering outside of the city. Nope, just some idiot wants to go and be cold in the woods. <laughs> Gotta love it. After five and a half miles of trekking, I broke down and checked the map. It's only another three and a half miles or 3.2, something like that until the trailhead. But then that trailhead's only like, it's only like a 20 minute hike up to the summit. You're already pretty high up once you're at the trailhead, so. Is what it is. Perfect day out. Anyways, we are here at the fucking trailhead. Was that just really turned around this whole time? I how many times I've done that. Well, eight and a half miles later, went through a small little section of woods, didn't feel like breaking my phone or, well, my DSX fucking Q3 fucking R thing out. Just kidding, I don't want anybody shit on me for using my phone in the comments. But we are here. Don't ride trail bikes and all-terrain vehicles. I hope they don't mean bicycles, because I ride my trail bicycle here all the time. To be honest with you, I wouldn't let anybody really tell me that I can't. The trail is not as beat as I thought it was. I'm probably gonna stop up here, take my first break in eight and a half miles. Maybe put my spikes on. Yeah, freaking sweating. It says it's 32 degrees, but it feels like it's like 60. I didn't really wear much for clothes. For the hike because I knew I wasn't going to uh, be cold. I think it's definitely colder than 32. It feels like 70 with the wind chill. Definitely should have brought some whiskey. I didn't bring any booze because I'm not really drinking right now. Taking a little break but I think it was worthy of some whiskey. Around here it is very hilly. And even though I walked on the road most of the ways, it's eight and a half miles with a pretty heavy pack. My whole goal was to not take the pack off until I get to where I want to take my pack off. But, motherfucker, I am a little exhausted. I ran on the treadmill last night for some ungodly fucking reason. But I might take a break. I might not. Who knows? You'll find out here shortly. Well... I definitely held true to uh, getting here without taking a break, but it was time for a break. Definitely time for a break. And it only looks like someone might have hiked up a little bit and either rode a sled down, definitely a snowboard, but kind of looks like a sled on this side. So it's probably like one set of tracks going up. Like I said, when we come here and do shuttle laps with the mountain bikes, 
It's different because you start at the bottom. Like, yeah, I just walked eight miles from my fucking house, eight and a half miles, whatever. So I'm smoked. So it'll probably take me like a half an hour to get up. Maybe. And then the fun start. Am I drunk? We are almost at the summit. We're at what would be kind of the sunset-ish spot. It's actually pretty good in the winter because there isn't so many leaves. But even in the summer, if you just go a little higher up, you get, the sun goes down right about there. But we're not here for the sunset. It actually might be pretty decent. It's, it's kind of, there's some holes in the clouds over there. But the sun rises on that side a lot of way. So we're going to camp on that side. I'm here for the sunrise, not the sunset. But we might come and take a look later, see what it looks like. Maybe not. Probably. I'll get bored. Well, we did it. I haven't checked to see how far it was to the summit. What the hell is it? It's like 1,200 feet. The sign's over there. I don't remember. That doesn't matter. That was pretty fun. I like torturing myself. The kid I rock climb with called it type 2 fun. I, I think he called it ice climbing type 2 fun. People that like to beat themselves up. But yeah, here's the view. The old dirty city. Place sucks. But the sun comes up there. So we're probably gonna camp in front of us a little bit. The wind is coming from that way, but as anybody who's been in the mountains that changes about 30 feet that way, so yeah. Nine miles, nine miles exactly, 9.03 or whatever. It's pretty sick. It's pretty much in my backyard, nine miles away from my house. Most people from like fucking, yeah, whatever. I'm going to edit that out probably. Whew. Scramble brain. God, I wish I brought some fucking whiskey. Damn it. I'm so far from home. Well, home sweet home. This will look pretty good. There's a breeze blowing through a little bit. And I could probably tuck myself in a little bit more. Maybe. I don't know. I'm going to walk around for a few minutes. This don't seem too bad. I hear the wind blowing. I think it'll, this will be good. It's not a bad spot. Got a nice backdrop. This tree looks like it's in decent enough shape. It probably won't go down. I'm gonna wander around. As I am scouting for a spot, probably looking like a goofball with this hat, it's getting breezy and chilly. Uh, I thought I found a good spot over that way, but the wind is cutting across the, the face of this mountain and it's not super covered. I'm gonna try and tuck myself away somewhere, which I thought I was over there, but the wind's just cutting through. It looked like it was good, but it wasn't. The wind was just, it would have been a little too much for a hammock. So as you can see, when the, the leaves as the wind comes through and you watch, you watch the leaves start moving around, you just keep an eye, look through. You can see all the little sticks in the pine and the spruce and stuff. You can see everything moving. So you, you'll, you'll kind of, you can kind of spot the, the little spots where the, the, the spruce isn't moving, where it's not moving. It's just a little trick that I've learned. You can see where the wind's not really affecting, not really slicing through everything. It's fucking cold. Now it's, I believe it's like 28 degrees. I don't have an Apple watch on or nothing. It ain't that fucking cool. But it's chilly. Just took my glove off and my hand's getting cold, which is good. I'm gonna take a little bit of an ice bath here. It's like an air, it's like a reverse air fryer soaking in the, the cold wind. Feels good. 
I'm sore. Ran on the treadmill yesterday and I just hiked over nine miles now where I'm at. Probably at like nine and a quarter, nine. Probably not even, probably nine and an eighth. I don't know. I walked a lot today and I ran a lot yesterday. Yeah, I wind. It's good. All right, I think I found a good spot. I can hear the wind ripping above me. Uh, I got plenty of shit to break up the wind. The hill kind of crests over the other side of the hill, like the summit of the mountains that way. And so the hill's kind of going over like this and the wind's coming up. And I think coming way, a little bit more over this spot. This is a great time to be patient and kind of hang out where you think you're going to camp for a minute before you invest time and let the wind blow. It's blowing right now. I can hear it ripping up on top. It's ripping up there too. Didn't say it was going to be that windy, but it is what it is. This is camping on a mountain. And what is it? January, February, March, March 7th or 8th or something like that. Oh yeah. We're going to set up and then get ready to have a fire. One of my hammock setup. It's this company called Hummingbird. I think they're from like Colorado or something. Um, I've had this rain fly forever, probably like five years now. Uh, I left my hammock strap somewhere. The hammock straps are awesome. They're super cool. And as you can see, like, look at all this stuff fits in the palm of my hand. I'm not a gigantic man. So here's the hammock. Check their shit out. I'm not sponsored by anybody. This is my first like video of what I got going on, but I'm going to set my hammock up and downhill. I like spreading my hammock straps out as far as I can. It just makes for a little better sleeping setup for me. And I don't really feel like doing a time lapse or something. Maybe I'll do that one day, but you'll see when I'm done. See, I'll show you why these hammock straps are so cool. They use this, I don't know if you can see it. They use this like Chinese finger lock fucking method. You kind of just like grab it here and then you can just pull your, your fucking string through and just quickly adjust it. There's no knots, there's no anything. The hammocks use this button and loop system. They're great hammocks, they're awesome. They're lightweight, they're quick and easy to set up. They're super adjustable and super fast when you're trying to adjust them. Um, this is my second hammock because it is just single ply ripstop nylon or whatever the hell it's called. So they do rip easy, I'm pretty hard on my shit. But I bought a second one. They work well, and they're the smallest hammocks that I've seen on the market. And the straps are the lightest. The rain flies are amazing. Probably don't need to set up the rain fly. I'm just going to to protect me a little bit more from the wind. And yeah, I'm gonna keep going. I didn't really want this to be an instructional, but I don't know, I just spread my wisdom. When you're setting up your hammock, sit in it. And if you start sliding to one end, if it just feels like you're sliding to one end, like I'm still kind of favoring this end, this end's got to go up or this end's got to go down. I got plenty of butt room for my under quilt and everything underneath it. So I can kind of adjust it. That's just something you want to think about when you're setting up a hammock. Yeah. Well, here it is. Here's my sleeping setup. I'm still debating on whether I'm gonna put my rain fly up or not. I'm, I might just to fucking block me from the wind. But my bag is a hike and bike. It's like an Amazon cheapie. It is a 15 degree, I'm pretty sure synthetic down. It's got these sweet little like doohickers so you can uh, run your hammock through it. So you get that nice air gap. Uh, it's like a fucking hundred something dollar sleeping bag that has gotten me through way colder nights than tonight. I really like climate. They make good shit.
this sleeping pad actually has one of their patches on it. One of my buddies was hung over and passed out on it at a mountain bike race, Stavi, and he ripped a hole in it and I put one of the patches on it and it's worked fine. Uh, not to say that I'm the shit or nothing, but I have two pads. This one actually has some insulation in it, but if you have it, use it. It's gonna protect me a little bit. I like to use a sleeping bag liner and put my my sleeping pads in it. So I'm gonna get in the sleeping pad liner and I actually have another, I have a down blanket in there somewhere to add to all this. And it, it will keep you cozy as shit. As cozy as shit can be. And just to add to that, I brought this Mylar. I just had it laying around. I usually use something of the sort to put underneath the sleeping pads. Just added whatever if you got it use it if you think you can add another couple of whatever ounces grams whatever are you all you weight skimpers fucking call it i just pick my bat my backpack up and i'm like yeah that's probably too heavy i'm still gonna do it but you can do it anybody can do it it's all good it's what i do shit on me i'd love to hear it i can't wait to have people shit on me like i said this is going to be my first youtube video and probably going to keep doing it it's pretty been fun like when you when you're by yourself and you got no one to talk to instead of me sounding like or feel, feeling like i'm a psychopath talking to myself i'm talking into a, a dxqlr 6000 not a cell phone it's not a cell phone i promise all right rain flies up as you can see, it's almost sitting right on top of the hammock, but when I get in the hammock, it's going to sag down quite a bit. Stacked up a little bit of snow there to just keep the wind from ripping underneath it, which it's predominantly coming straight from that way. It's not coming up the hill or down the hill. So yeah, I think it'd be pretty good. It is beautiful. The temperature's dropping a little bit. It's getting into the 20s. I'm digging this hard. The view's right over there, so we'll head over there and check that out. Snow's moving in, can't really see the city anymore. There's the hammock. Oh, I love this shit. This is the life. Tanya. Oh yeah. Ramen noodles, baby. Got some tuna. I actually warmed it up on the fire a little bit. Pre-made a salad. Little tip for salads and jars. Put all the soggy shit at the bottom. It won't fuck all your lettuce up and your spinach. Having a great time, loving it. Snow's kind of slowing down. It squalled for a little bit. 
It was really nice. Definitely cooling down even more. I got enough wood for probably another, probably until dark. Once it gets dark, it gets dark at like 5.30 here right now. Once it gets dark, I'll probably go to sleep. Or at least get in bed. Got my sleepy time tea. All nice and warmed up in the Yeti. I didn't warm it up in the Yeti. Don't fucking hash on me in the comments. Fuck, it's hot though. It's tea time and it's headlamp time. It's beautiful out. It's still flurrying. The wind's not too crazy. Man, I, w I wish I had my wallet or something. I'd go get some food and some more water. Everyone's saying you shouldn't eat the snow. I mean, I, I made ramen noodles with it. So if I shit blood or something, I'll let you know. But uh, yeah, it's been fun. It's been fun as hell. I'll catch y'all in the morning. Well, good morning, y'all. Fuck. I slept good till about like three o'clock and then I woke up. There I am. Oh, I did try to go back to bed. And I did. Definitely on and off, but I could have slept a little bit more. It's gonna be a good day. It kind of looks amazing. The sunrise is coming up over the dirty city. We got a few minutes till it actually starts poking over the horizon. Sunrise ain't really much. It's probably gonna lighten up. <sighs> Nothing like coffee and a sunrise. After hammock camping. In 20 some odd degree weather. Love it. Gotta love it. It's about time to pack up and uh start walking home should have brought more water I'm gonna run out of water by the time I'm about on the road I'll probably just I'll probably do more woods walking on the way home and just take my sweet ass time I'm not in a rush today because I'm starting way earlier but hell yeah uh thanks for joining me and see you on the next one <laughs>